Good morning, children. I hope all of you are following the instruction of Government of India. Please stay at home. We are missing our actual classroom, but we have to continue our learning courses. So that's why today I am making a video for you regarding our curriculum. And my humble request to you that you please go through these things. When our actual class teaching will start, I will elaborate each and everything as I used to. So today I am preparing a video for the student of class 9 and my topic is mechanics. It is a branch of physics which deals with the study of motion of a body. That means here we will discuss how a body is moving and what are the factors on which the motion of a body is governed. The mechanics has two branches. One is dynamics. And second is kinematics. <coughs> I assume so for the poor quality because I have very less equipment here, but I will try to give you my best. Dynamics. It is the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of motion of a body considering the causes of heat. That means why a body is moving that we consider in dynamics. Suppose I am throwing this chalk. So if I throw it with more power, definitely it will cover more distance. So the distance covered by this chalk will directly proportional to the way I am throwing it. So this is dynamics. So dynamics force is a factor for it. Second is kinematics. Kinematics is branch of mechanics which deals with the study of motion of a body without considering the cause of it. That means why the body is moving that we will not consider but how the body is moving that definitely will consider. So here the angle of projection, the gravity, the dissipative force all will play a vital role in kinematics. Now the things which is common in dynamics as well as kinematics is motion. Motion. The condition of moving of body is termed as motion. That means when a body changes its position with respect to time or surrounding, then it is termed as motion. Motion is the moving of body of a body with respect to time or surrounding. That means when a body is changing its position with respect to time and surrounding, then the body is said to be in motion. Now, motion is classified into so many types. But according to that nature, we are classifying motion in few types. Types of motion. First, we have the uniform motion. When a body covers equal distance in equal time interval, then the motion of body is said to be uniform. Second is non-uniform motion. Non-uniform motion. When a body does not cover equal distance in equal interval of time, then the such type of motion is termed as non-uniform motion. Next, we have linear motion. The motion of a body in a straight path or straight line is termed as linear motion. Just like a car is running on the road or the body is moving in this track. So the motion of this body is linear because it is going in a straight path. Second, next is circular motion. When a body covers its motion in a circular track, then such type of motion are termed as circular motion. The rotatory and revolutionary motion of the bodies are example of circular motion. The next is gyratory motion.
primary motion or oscillatory motion a motion is said to be vibratory or oscillatory if it moves into and fro with respect to certain position just like the pendulum of a wall clock the swing first type of motion are uh, vibratory motion there the body moves with respect to some mean position so these are the types of motion according to their nature of motion now motion is also classified according to their coordinate system type of motion according to coordinate system so we have motion in one dimension motion in two dimension and motion in three dimension one dimension the body is mo moving in x axis only here the motion is governed in one factor it is the origin and the direction of motion is only on the x axis motion in two dimension the two axis x axis y axis such type of motion are two dimension just like the motion in the chessboard the moving of a football on the playground that is 2d motion in three dimension the motion taking place in three coordinates that is the x axis y axis and z axis here these coordinates are mutually perpendicular with respect to each other just like a kite is flying and a wind is the motion of a bird at certain time it can go upward downwards or in the same track so the motion according to coordinates is one dimension two dimension and three dimension now we will move to the next topic and that is that motion is relative motion is relative relative means we are comparing the motion of a body with respect to other component just like two persons sitting on a compartment of a moving train they are in rest with each other but they are in motion with respect to somebody who is visualizing them from outside so the person at train are in rest with each other but the same person are in motion with respect to somebody outside from the train that's why we can say motion is relative for in today's class we are discussing this much only in next class we will go for the physical quantities physical quantities so children please stay tuned and try to revise i'll try to upload at least one video every day stay home stay safe thank you